Hello and welcome to another MI How-To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How-To, we're gonna show you how to install a set screw locking Sentinel series bearing unit. And helping me out is Corey D. Dolph. He is with NTN. Corey, it is great to have you back. Nice to be back, Tom, how are you today? Well, I'm doing good, and I like when you're here because you always got me doing something to earn my keep. That's what they tell me to do. I like that. <laughs> well, why don't you give us a little info on the Sentinel series first before we well, get started. Tom, the NTN Sentinel series is a stainless steel bearing insert with food grade solid lube and housings that come with covers. It's designed to go into wash down applications that have a lot of maintenance regreasing going on. By going with a solid lube, we eliminate the need to regrease the parts and eliminate the expense, time, and mess that goes with it. Okay, so I noticed we have two different types here. We can only use one. Do I get my choice? You of get your what choice for once. Okay, uh, stainless steel. I'm gonna go with the White plastic? That's a good choice. Okay, all right, let's do that. So what would be our first step? Where do you want to start? Well, I think first we have to go with our PPE. I like that. He always reminds me to do this. PPE should always be priority number one. Let's stay safe, whatever the job calls for. Make sure you're wearing the proper PPE. Corey, it's on okay. you. Okay, after that we want to inspect our shaft and make sure there's no damage, nicks, or burrs. It looks nice and smooth. I think we're good. Okay, after that we want to look at our bearing and make sure that the set screws aren't protruding into the bore and in the way. I'm looking and I see nothing sticking out, so I think we're good to go. Okay, Captain. that means we should have no problem getting it on the shaft. All right. After that, you want to go to the inboard side and take the inboard cover and using a dead blow hammer, knock it into place. Now after that, we want to check where we're going to put the housing and make sure it's free of any damage and is nice and level. Okay. If it wasn't level, that would be a good time to use some shim stock to level it up, but we're good to go. A shimmy. A sh shimmy. Okay, all right, no, we'll do that. All right. okay. <laughs> now that you're ready, we want to slide the bearing on the shaft, and then we'll drop the shaft down into place. Okay. Drop the shaft down into place. Mm -hmm. Make sure we're lined up with the bolt holes. All right. If you want to take one, I can take the other, and we can get right. these started. Let's do this. All right. So, yeah, as you get that tightened down, okay. there are tech recommended torque settings if the customer needs them. Gotcha. Okay, now what we want to do is fix the bearing to the shaft mm -hmm. by taking the set screw and tightening down to the recommended torque wrench. Okay, and why do we use a torque wrench? Tell everybody. I know it's important. You can over tighten the set screws and if you do that you can cause damage to the bearing which will result in unnecessary downtime. Okay, so we do both these evenly, we hear the click we hear and the then click. we're good to go. Then we're good to go. Okay, all right. After that, you want to take the outboard end cap mm -hmm. and, again, using the dead blow hammer, pound that into place until it's nice and firm. All right, now what? Well, next, now that we have the unit on the one side of the shaft, we'd mm -hmm. have to go ahead and do it to the other side, and then we'd be all be done. Corey, good stuff. Thanks again. Thank you very much, Tom. I really appreciate it. That's Corey Dedolf. He is with NTN. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can always contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they'll be able to help you out. As you saw, we were wearing our PPE. Make sure you do the same. Safety is always priority number one. Your next priority, head to the website, mihowto.com, and catch other videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. But thanks so much for watching today.